Puerto Rico is known for its blue waters, beautiful beaches, and hot sun. But right now, there is nothing hotter on this Caribbean island than its own native tennis star, Monica Puig. Here in paradise, we go behind the scenes to learn Monica's story as she prepares to play Maria Sharapova in her first ever exhibition on home soil. Right now, we are in the Coliseo de Puerto Rico and everybody's just getting the final preparations ready. We hope to bring some tennis to Puerto Rico, start getting it out there and just enjoy because I think it's going to be a really fun event. The match will be Monica's first in front of a home crowd since her life-changing breakthrough at the 2016 Olympics in Rio. The Olympics is very special for me, definitely a memory that I will carry with me for the rest of my career and for the rest of my life. Such an incredible feeling when I won match point. Just saw my dreams coming true to bring home the first gold medal, to be the first woman to win a medal. It was surreal. When I came here, it was a huge party and you could see in the eyes of all the Puerto Ricans that it really meant that much to them. They've been going through some tough financial times and they needed that extra little push. They needed that extra little bit of hope and, and belief that things were gonna get better. So I'm glad that this helped give them a step in the right direction. Yes, I can. And with real-time pain relief, so can you. La mejor red en Puerto Rico. Mi red, AT&T. Y alcanzarás todo lo que has soñado. Well, here in Puerto Rico, I'm considered a national hero, which is uh, a little bit shocking to me at the moment. But with the good things, there also comes a lot more expectation from a lot of people. After the Olympics, we always thought that we wanted to give Puerto Rico the opportunity to see me play in person because, honestly, they don't get to see me very often. And for me, it's very important to always give back to those who have given me so much support through the years. So we wanted to make this just like a party. Because Puerto Rico is all about the party and the celebrating. We started thinking of all the entertainment and who we wanted to bring, and we really wanted Maria to come. Maria Sharapova and Monica I was so excited about the invitation. I'm glad that I could be part of it. I'm glad I can compete in front of thousands of people again tonight. I've certainly missed that in the last eight months, and I'm excited to get it back. This is a moment that the people of Puerto Rico will remember for a very long time. With over 12,000 people in attendance, the exhibition event between Monica and Maria was an overwhelming success. And now, with her confidence at an all-time high, it will be up to this hometown hero to see if she can rise again and take her game to the next level. Definitely feeling very confident about my tennis game and uh, a lot more security in myself, which is something that I was always looking for. I can cross Olympic gold medalists off the list, thank God. But the list, you know, is still a very lengthy one, and one of my biggest goals that I would like to accomplish is to win a major. But before that, I know I have a lot of work to do. Definitely enjoying the process and learning and, and becoming a better person and a better athlete through this great blessing that came to my life.